Hey everyone, Pye Farley here going into week 13 of the uh, NFL season. We had Thanksgiving three games, then we have uh, uh, the rest of the slate coming to you this Sunday. I'm excited about this. We got really interesting slate of games top to bottom. Um, I'm going to get to the best bet of the weekend here in just one second. But first, uh, coming off a winning week last week, 5-1, and one, great, great weekend. A lot of winners out there. Um, a lot of easy winners, which I was happy about that. Didn't have to sweat too many. Um, and now looking forward to another good weekend. Um, interesting lines. We have a lot of double-digit lines, uh, which is rare. that You get these double-digit, uh, especially road double-digit teams. Uh, look to the unders this week. Just kind of a word of advice. You start getting these teams that have played each other once before. So uh, it exploits some, uh, and totals have gone high in the first time they've faced each other. And now we're going to have, sorry, you have to excuse a vacuum going on in the background, but now we have these, these uh, defenses getting into their sets, uh, getting, getting used to each other, being able to depend on each other. And so we're going to have some unders coming in um, throughout Sunday, I believe. So look towards the unders in some of these matchups. Speaking of, I'm going to exploit that here in one particular game. we got the Browns and the Steelers duking it out game two. They played just two weeks prior. We all know how that went. We know what happened to uh, Miles Garrett and uh, 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 Mason Rudolph of the Steelers, uh, all the suspensions that came after that. Now, you know if there's an emotional team out there, the Steelers is that. Uh, they follow their leader, uh, Mike Tomlin, who can be a very emotional. He can get up for a game. He can also be a letdown uh, in a particular spot. So uh, they follow their leader, um, and, and that typically plays to their advantage um, in big games. Now, I, I don't expect much difference here, especially with their defense, to come out and shine. Meanwhile, the Browns, um, while they can play very, I'll be honest, uh, I, I don't think this looks good for them as far as this setup. Um, I don't expect Freddie Kitchens to come out with some great game plan that's going to masterfully change the outcome uh, that he had just two weeks ago when they put up 21, made a 21-7 game. I think Steelers defense is going to be better. So I think this is going to be an easy underplay. Not easy, but it will be an underplay here at 39 and a half. Uh, we're going under that total as the best bet. Um, I think 28, the total we had in the first game, is going to be very similar to this game. However, I do think it's going to be a one-score game with the Steelers uh, as opposed to a, uh, what, you know, 21-7, so a two-score game there uh, with the Browns. So I don't know if the Steelers are going to win. It's going to be hard um, with Hodges at the helm running the offense. But uh, I do think this, the defense, you know, if you look at defense at home, Steelers actually have the number two defense in the entire country, opponent's yards per play, which is a key stat to look at when it comes to uh, overall pr overall production. So 4.4 yards per play overall uh, for the Steelers at home. Could you get any more hype for this game? Could they be any more excited for this game? They're going to keep the Browns under 20 points, guarantee it. Um, they, they just... Everything is going to be dependent on that defense. Uh, meanwhile, the offense has injuries. Um, you know, that's going to be a little more difficult of a chore. Therefore, I see this game going under the total of 39 and a half. All right. And this is also the second time they played each other. Familiar. Tomlin's going to be familiar with Kitchens. Kitchens familiar with Tomlin. So, uh, you know, there's a lot going into this one. But uh, in the end, under 39 and a half is where money can be made. So I'm taking it. Uh, good luck, everyone, this weekend. Check out my other plays, patreon.com slash Farley. Check out NCAA basketball, NBA picks, uh, as well as college football picks. All right, good luck. See you again soon.